Word Eyes brings you any educational knowledge or information around the globe, current or many years ago, that has historical or significant value. It is your eyes to the world. Hi guys, I have a question. Should we not be alarmed with what is happening around the world? I am not referring to the uh, COVID-19 or to the stock market crisis or to the war in Ukraine. I am referring to what is happening to our climate. Fire had been raging on both sides of the train track in Spain. Healthcare workers in China collapsing due to exhaustion and extreme heat, triple digits heat temperatures in Europe, sending tourists and locals alike experiencing the hottest temperature ever. Just a little reminder and a small favor. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Thanks. In 2021, from Russia to China, England, New Zealand, India, the United States, Indonesia, Uganda, and Germany had suffered extreme flooding over the span of just a few months. Then Japan, Ireland, Turkey, Western North America, and England had been punished with extreme heat waves. It killed more than 1,000 people in the Pacific Northwest. During the massive heat wave hitting Europe, fueling flames burning throughout the continent. In France, officials warning of a heat apocalypse as temperatures soar to 109 degrees. In the Western North America, Siberia, and the Mediterranean region, these two had experienced intense droughts. In 2013, the Philippines was hit by a strong typhoon named Haiyan or Yolanda as known in the country then. It caused havoc of unimaginable proportion never seen before with Leyte, a province in the Philippines, being greatly affected. Yolanda was a climate disaster caused by decades of deforestation, mining, and industrial development. The storm destroyed 90% of the global in Leyte and had caused it to sink due to the rise in the sea level brought about by global warming. Overall, Yolanda had displaced 4.1 million people, killing at least more than 6,000 people with more than 1,800 reported missing. It could be the worst that global warming has brought to that country. I had just tackled global warming in my recent blog. The possibility of seeing those villages along the Arctic coastline going underwater. And now, I'm here again discussing global warming. It is a concern we cannot just ignore. With the rate of global warming changing the Earth's crust and or the Earth's surface temperatures, there is no doubt global warming is causing those fires to spread out. Those healthcare workers collapsing and fainting, those tourists and locals alike grappling with a so hot a temperature, those villages sinking, those tsunamis, those floods, storms, and droughts. Take note, one thing is clear, climate change is real. Global warming is now happening, and the effects are everywhere. We see and experience strong storms, intense heat waves, and the rise in the sea level brought about by melting of the Arctic ice and the towing of the permafrost. And 
uh, once you have permafrost thawing, that creates a whole other issue and will release a lot of carbon emissions to the atmosphere. And then Continuous climate changes, increased heat waves, longer warm seasons, and shorter cold season as well. Higher temperatures reduce agricultural yields because crops speed through their development, producing less grain in the process. Extreme heat stresses plants, stunts development, and causes plants to die. Extreme warm or prolonged hot temperatures also affect health, increase respiratory and cardiovascular disease usually appear among those susceptible to such diseases. To some, there could be injuries and or premature deaths. And here is a sad fact. As climate is warming, humans are actually causing it. We are responsible for it. Animals in the agricultural field continue releasing greenhouse gases via belches. We continue to burn coal natural gas and oil, thus emitting carbon dioxide that heats up Mother Earth. Vehicles continue to run on gasoline, producing lots of smog. Aircrafts depend on heavy batteries, and forested land continue to be deforested. In coastal areas, sea level continues to rise, causing more coastal flooding and soil erosions, towing of the permafrost, melting of glaciers, and loss of the Arctic sea ice. As human actions have been undisputedly determined, to be responsible for the climate change, it is also believed that it would be the human action that will reduce or stabilize the carbon dioxide, the greenhouse gases, and the air pollutants that in the end will ultimately determine the future of the Earth's condition. As of now, the global climate condition is perilously close to tipping points. It is predicted that if the global warming is not seriously addressed by the world leaders or that the world leaders will continue to deny that it is real and it is a hoax, then the earth condition will just continue to be getting worse and worse until it is impossible to reverse it anymore. What you're seeing right now on this last frame of the video could be much worse than you would have imagined of the Earth's condition if we do not put our acts together now to reduce or stop completely the emission of greenhouse gases. Time is simply running out. Irreversible climate tipping points is alarmingly close. The danger is already within us. And that's for now for World Eyes. Stay tuned on my next blog and don't forget to subscribe. Please, thank you.